Good morning from Regensburg in Germany. the Deutsche Bahn or the train station and we're gonna head into the city center to see the Christmas market and also to find the tourist information booth we understand there's a walking tour you can take and so we're gonna head in and do that we're really looking forward to it Regensburg is said to be the most well-preserved medieval city in Germany I just wanted to give you a little tip when you come in on the train you're gonna come in on uh, one level above the street First thing you want to do is go downstairs and find the DB information booth and get a city map. They have a really good one here that shows you all the sites of interest. And this is what we're using to find our way towards the city center. So that's that should be your first mission because that's going to make things a lot simpler. It's only about a 10 minute walk according to the information center. And uh, so we're just gonna enjoy a stroll through this part of the city. We found the TI and we're gonna go in and see what our options are. So at the Tourist Information Center we found out that there's an English speaking walking tour leaving from here at 1.30. So we're gonna wander, we're right here at the Christmas market, we're gonna look around it a little bit, maybe have some Glühwein and maybe even find a place to sit down and get a hot bowl of soup or something because it's kinda cold today. So Oscar and Emily Schindler lived here for, what, 11 months, November to September. Um, apparently they weren't very well liked and not treated well here, so they didn't live here any longer than that. So, so far on our tour, we've learned that Regensburg was actually established in the first century, um, but it really started to grow in about the year 700 right around in there and then it virtually exploded in the uh, 12th 13th and 14th centuries and because it didn't have any major industry inside the city it um, survived the bombings of World War II quite well and none of the buildings here in the city center were destroyed so um, that's why you still have so many of the medieval buildings here in the city. little house right here has been here since about the 12th century. It's always been a restaurant and the locals say it's the oldest restaurant in the world. It's probably at least one of the oldest in Germany.
finished our tour, our guide Nicole was fantastic. I'd say it's well worth doing the tour. It was nine dollars a person eight, eight euros per person eight euros per person I mean, we found that the price of the tours here to be really low and very well worth it so now we're going to head back towards the cathedral we covered the cathedral in the tour but we did not go in it so we're going to go back and go inside over there there's an anti-semite rally going on it's really disheartening to see that in this day and age here in Germany of all places um, I guess I had hoped that that was over but there's a very strong police presence here it looks like there's not quite as many attendees as they expected but um, it's a big deal